Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a privilege uh, for me to be here and to present uh, the, the vision of uh, our company about this special, this very special uh, subject, uh, LTE, Tetra, what's, what's next? Actually, uh, I, I'll, uh, just a very important message. I'll skip uh, some of the slides just because we are running out of, uh, of time and my friend here is urging me to be fast and uh, everybody probably is waiting for, for, the, for the break. In any case, um, three years ago in, uh, at the Tetra World Congress in 2009, actually I, I attended um, uh, the first stream about uh, using Tetra with uh, complementary technologies. Uh, we, all the members, all, those who, all the participants actually, actually shared the, uh, the, 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 the fact that Tetra is uh, the unsurpassed solution uh, it was the unsurpassed solution for mission critical communications and it would be for a long time. But at the same time, he actually acknowledged the fact that uh, uh, other emerging uh, technologies could be useful and it would be a good idea to, uh, to think of uh, using those technologies along with Tetra for very specific applications. But at the same time, uh, um, some of us uh, had the, the, mm, the perception that uh, in doing this, uh, putting together different technologies, different networks, uh, those, those networks had to be uh, somehow, uh, I forgot to, to switch, excuse me. Okay. Uh, should be perceived just one single entity by the users in terms of applications. Okay, now, uh, three years later, we are, uh, we are uh, some step ahead. Uh, we are, at least, I am uh, convinced, I, I think I share this view with most of us, that Tetra is still uh, the, uh, the solution for um, mission-critical communications and it will continue to be at least for a decade, a decade uh, uh, and more. But um, since uh, the, the progress uh, uh, broadband technologies are doing, it's really important to, uh, to exploit this, this, this fact and this, uh, um, the, this possibility. Um, yes, there is, there is TEDS. Uh, now, uh, LTE is the mantra, and we tend to, to forget about TEDS. But TEDS is something that we should uh, think of and use and exploit whenever uh, the, mm, the spectrum regulators uh, will allow for uh, adequate uh, frequency for the usage of such, of such uh, uh, addendum to, to Tetra. But, uh, our, my company, Celex Elsag, has, can provide uh, TEDs, but at the same time is investing in uh, LTE. And it's something that you can, you can check and verify at our stand here at the Tetra World Congress. But our vision is that the future is consisting in integrated heterogeneous networks. It means to put together different technologies uh, combined in, a, in, a, uh, in, a, in the right way in order to um, accomplish uh, the, the, the task of providing different applications uh, according to the, 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 the specific needs by, um, from, from, the, the, from the users and perceiving the system as unique. Uh, which are the key points uh, for, for presenting this concept? Actually, uh, we, we recognized that uh, beyond the, the cri cri mission critical communications, there are other um, services uh, we, we, which need uh, uh, higher capacity. This is uh, why the introduction of broadband technologies. Then uh, there is this, this basic uh, point that we have to master the integration of these heterogeneous networks. 
And that's why we need a, 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 an integrated communication platform. Finally, uh, the, 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 uh, the sectors uh, uh, for um, professional, professional communications are so, so many, so vast. And we, they range from uh, uh, public and, uh, safety and security to transportation and so forth. So these solutions must be, must be scalable. Okay. The solution from my company is the so-called Perseus Communications Service Platform. What is it? Actually, it's, it's something which provides uh, an integration of Tetra and other technologies, actually providing a, a set of uh, um, applications regardless, regardless uh, the access technology. And a uh, very important aspect, actually, it makes the, the heterogene heterogeneous system to be perceived really as a, a unique uh, network, uh, so uh, not uh, creating hurdles and problems for, 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 for the users. Um, just uh, a, a little technical uh, comment here. The, the core network is based uh, on full IP protocol, and actually, with uh, those things, I don't know, man, it, 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 it's, it's not useful just to, 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 uh, to spend time on commenting uh, those protocols. Most of you are more, um, more, more familiar than me with those things. Okay. Um, actually, what we, we made is that we're thinking to put together different technologies, uh, uh, different uh, uh, networks. You, you think of a vertical disjoint model, okay, where there's the access, the control, and the applications in that way. Instead, we reversed, actually, we changed uh, the, the structure and the model. So having the access networks, one single uh, control layer, and then the applications, and according to uh, what kind of uh, 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 purpose, task a user ha has to, 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 to do, we will access the different uh, uh, network or the different uh, um, applications. And maybe the, the, um, the same application has different performance and a different uh, uh, level of, uh, of uh, usage depending uh, depending on the, <clears throat> the, the access uh, and, uh, t technology which is using at that, in, the, in that moment uh, the user. Um, this is something uh, representing uh, in, in a different way the concept I, I just uh, uh, presented. And uh, so there are the different, uh, the various access technologies, uh, the standard familiar PMR uh, technologies, LTE. Uh, also, m in, in our case, in, in our, in, in, uh, considering our background in, in our market, also military um, technologies. And then they are combined and controlled in, in, in a single, in a single um, platform, having, uh, make, make, making available uh, st standard communication services, and then uh, making, making available instead uh, the various applications. It is important to, um, to stress that um, a, a, an important feature of the solution that it must be scalable. So we can uh, uh, start from a transportable system mounted on a vehicle on something larger, uh, fixed, uh, which, ca which can be put, set up uh, just to, uh, to take care of uh, a special event, uh, in, a, in, a, in any case, in a um, limited area. But then we can, we can think of uh, large uh, networks, large systems, like nationwide systems, where uh, you, have, you, you can have also uh, uh, different um, 
technology and networks uh, other than uh, Tetra, just took over single spots and providing uh, those broadband uh, services which uh, are, are in some cases, cases required. Okay, I'll skip all these uh, slides just to make my friend here uh, happy. And uh, just because they uh, represent uh, the scheme on, on, uh, um, in, in a very pictorial way, how this integration takes place from, from the point of view of users. Okay, here instead, uh, let me uh, very briefly present the benefits of this of such an architecture the, that we have conceived that we have implemented scalability right? it, was, it was straightforward we are, I already uh, explained it and this means that uh, the applications can can be offered on um, to, to various uh, market sectors a unified network management and a unified subscriber management this make uh, uh, this allow for operational efficiency, and then a unified common control in cases different agency and, and organizations actually share the system. This is make uh, this make it uh, make it possible to, to to have a unified a special coordination of the activities and interventions uh, on on whenever whenever needed. And of course, uh, t technology into working. Uh, this is a, a, a very special uh, ca characteristic. Uh, I think this just uh, represent uh, again and again uh, the, the same message. Uh, the fact that, in any case, our 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 approach, our solution, is focused on the needs of PM PMR users, uh, professional users modularity, service independency, and again, in a way, it moves from proprietary to standard, to standard uh, solutions and uh, poss possibility to, to, to set up systems we are really standard. Uh, I, I want to stress a, a, another concept. Uh, don't hold your breath. Uh, Tetra will be uh, the um, mission critical communication solution for a long time. And it, it will need uh, a long time for standardization to move PMR uh, services to full uh, broadband technology. As Mr. Romero was saying, it takes, it takes time and it takes uh, uh, special efforts and I don't see it possible within the next seven, eight years, 10 years. I'm almost finished. I hope uh, I, was, uh, I was good. And just for, 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 our, for, our, uh, for our customers, our effort is to make their life a little bit easier and just uh, to let them have some, some fun. Okay, thank you very much.